Hi everyone, Valerie is here and that is part two of the videos about customer journey map. I'm sure you already seen the previous video, so where I told about the customer journey map for a vacuum cleaner customer, this video is about how to build a customer journey map. In the next video, I'm going to use a red marker and tell you more about the customer journey map. This red marker and I are starting. Any activities need data and even customer journey map needs data, a lot of data actually. So you're going to use three sources of this data. First of all, you're going to use your own experience. Like you know exactly what your customers go through while choosing your product. Next, you're going to have a number of interviews. And when I say a number, I mean quite many when it comes to B2C, at least a hundred and uh, around 20 when it comes to B2B. Well, of course, in case you have similar, similar information from the interviews. And of course, you're going to talk to the teams that work with your customers directly or indirectly. These are the three ways to get inspiration, analytics and information for the customer journey map. Well, next I'm going to discuss in details this part interviews, which is very, very much essential. So interviews with your customers play a really major role in building the customer journey map because customer journey map is going to be based on the experience, real experience of your customers. So customer journey map is not something imaginary. This is something real. Okay, so when it comes to interviews, you can have the two types of interviews. You can have the quality interviews and quantity interviews. What comes first? quality interviews. So here you get precious insights and you get actually the material to develop in the quantity interviews. So you get insights, you get real experience. And again, the number of interviews to have actually depends on the type of business you are into. So B2C needs a really large number of interviews to handle and B2B interviews need, well, actually much, much fewer interviews to be um, in another Google spreadsheet. But how to understand how many you actually need to have? Well, as soon as you are going to get similar answers, repeated information and you're not getting any insights from the few interviews in a row, it's time to stop. So once you've stopped with the quality interviews, it's time to probably also stop. So you may not always need the quantity interviews. You may not always need the communication with really large masses, but uh, in case you're still not sure with the result of the quality interviews and you need some proof of your ideas, then you're going to shoot a survey to actually prove the results you received from these type of interviews. When it comes to the interviews, this is also vitally important to fix the right types of questions. So two types of questions should be there. And these are the uh, qualifying questions and also the questions about the experience. So you're going to qualify your customers a lot, sorry for my handwriting, and you're also going to speak about their experience in the past. Right, so as you might have guessed, this information is mostly needed for the top of the funnel, like you're going to address people who have this, this, this and that attributes like age 20, 30, um, I don't know, iPhone consumers, what else? Uh, they are also wearing dance shoes only. And when we're talking about the experience that they had in the past, so this part is about their experience with your product, like how they got to know your product.
how they were searching for the info. Then how they found your product and so on. So that is like the timeline I told you about in the previous video about the customer journey. And I used the same board to draw the customer journey map of uh, a person who wants to get a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, so these two things are mostly about B2C, of course, and when it comes to B2B, we're going to have uh, definitely different uh, qualifying information and uh, different uh, information about the experience in the past, especially when we are talking about uh, what uh, business processes uh, they were trying to fix, uh, what uh, issues they were facing, etc. Well, that is a really brief but really useful structure how you are going to get the customer journey map. Well, don't forget about the data, don't forget about the interviews. This part is hugely important, the same as uh, this one. So go and do the number of interviews that you feel you need to do. Please don't limit yourself to five or 10 interviews. Have more in case you need some more proof of your ideas. Don't forget about this type of interviews and I wish you good luck with the customer journey map building. Bye. Uh, everything I told you about is complete nonsense. The real customer journey map is this. The road. The horse. A happy man. Moving along this road. Where are they going? To a shopping center indeed. That is the customer journey.